We've got good news for you that the Word of God is true and the promise of eternal life is sure. So because God cannot lie, we shall live and never die. For saved means we're eternally secure. Eternal security, a scriptural certainty. Oh, what a joy to know that Jesus is mine. Yes, Jesus is mine. Eternal security. I'm saved for eternity. Oh, what a marvelous foretaste of glory divine. Oh, God's word says it's by grace we shall look upon his face. Still inspired, preserved, the word of God is pure. So because God cannot lie, we shall live and never die. For in God's hand we're evermore endure eternal security, a scriptural certainty. Oh, what a joy to know that Jesus is mine, Jesus is mine, eternal security. I'm safe for eternity. Oh, what a marvelous foretaste of glory divine. Oh, what a marvelous foretaste of glory divine. Yes, glory divine. Yes, glory divine. Oh, what a marvelous foretaste. What is that? It's eternal security. In Jude's little book, it's one chapter long, the half-brother of Jesus Christ writes by inspiration in verse number one, Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, that's James who wrote the book of James and was the pastor of the church at Jerusalem, to them that are sanctified by God the Father. Sanctified means to be cleansed and set apart for service. Sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. So we are sanctified, preserved, and called. Think about that. God's really paying some attention to us as believers. Even though we didn't do anything to deserve it, we have something that is so marvelous, a marvelous foretaste of glory divine, and that is eternal security. We've got heaven in our heart. We've got a down payment, the earnest of our inheritance right now. And the Bible tells us that whosoever, anybody that comes to him, he will in no wise cast out. That means there's nothing you and I can ever do as true children of God to ever be cast out and no longer be a child of God. Eternal security is a great biblical doctrine because of the preservation of the saints. Now, there are some who speak of the perseverance of the saints. The well, only reason we persevere is because we're preserved. You remember maybe at home mom or grandma maybe canning some things? Do you know that when, when they placed those items in those jars and sealed them, from that moment until that seal was broken and the food was brought out fresh, nothing, nothing whatsoever began to decay. Nothing be able, be, began or was able to de degenerate uh, at any time because it was preserved. That is the, the truth of preservation and here, Preservation is what we experience in Jesus Christ. We've been saved by grace and we are preserved. Father, I thank you for that divine preservation. Help us now to appreciate eternal security. While our heads are bowed and our eyes are closed, if you've never been saved, then you haven't got that. But you can by calling on the name of the Lord right now. Just pray something like this. Dear God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I need a Savior. Right now I ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into my heart and take away my sins and take me to heaven when I die. And if you prayed that prayer, please share that with us. We'd love to know about it. And if you're winning souls, please also tell us. 
Right now, let's pray for others. Lord, I pray for those that may struggle right now, may have doubts and fears. And, and Lord, I pray that you'll help those with misgivings and those that have stumbled and fallen. And Lord, I pray that right now you'll help every sick and needy person, every person that's hurting, and we'll thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Sing that little chorus with me. Eternal security, a scriptural certainty. Oh, what a joy to know that Jesus is mine. Yes, Jesus is mine. Eternal security. I'm safe for eternity. Oh, what a marvelous foretaste of glory divine. Oh, what a marvelous foretaste of glory divine. Glory divine. God bless you today.